The idea of giving a public speech is something that makes a lot of people nervous. Public speaking beats out most other top reported fears, including spiders, snakes, and flying. I teach high school language arts, drama, and speech, and being able to present a good speech is one of the most crucial skills that employers and colleges are looking for as students leave high school. Communication is what allows us to form connections with other people, to inspire change, and to teach, which is what leads to progress. Yet often I encounter students who are incredibly nervous about actually getting up there and giving a speech or giving a presentation in front of people. And there are a few tips that I like to go over with students to help them calm down and increase their confidence when they're going out there to give a speech. And so the top thing that I like to focus on is having students be prepared. I like to break that down into two different areas of preparation preparing their content, and then preparing themselves for delivering their speech. So the first thing I want to talk about is preparing their content. Okay, it's, if you have a strong content, if you feel knowledgeable and have done your research and what it is you're talking about, that's going to come across in how you're speaking, and it's going to make you a more confident speaker. So you need to make sure that your students have done their research thoroughly and then guide them through a logical outline, which will help them remember what their speech is gonna be. But the one thing that I stress in terms of content is what I call the power areas. Having these three strong power areas is really going to help them make a large impact on their audience in a short amount of words. So the three power areas that I wanna talk about is having a really strong hook, having a strong thesis statement, and having a strong closing line. The student's hook is going to be their opening line for the speech, and it's really important to have that be strong because they want their audience to be engaged from the very beginning. Having an audience that's listening to what you're saying, that's active, that's nodding, is going to increase your confidence as a speaker. And what I suggest if a student's particularly nervous is to use a joke or a funny story as their hook. It's going to cause the audience to laugh, and hopefully it's going to cause you as the speaker to laugh which is going to relax the mood in the room, it's gonna relax the speaker, and people like to laugh, they like to be happy, so it's gonna create an instant bond between the speaker and their audience. The next area that's really important to make sure that it's strong and well-prepared is going to be the thesis statement. <clears throat> thesis statement should come at the very end of your introduction, and it's going to set up what your topic is and how you're going to prove it. Uh, it provides a framework for the audience so that they know what to expect for the rest of the speech. Typically what I advise students do is they give whatever claim they're going to be making and three to five reasons. Okay, so I believe blank, and I'll show this to you by one, secondly by doing this, and finally by doing this. That's going to set up a map so that the audience knows what to expect in the coming speech. The third power area that I want to talk about is the closing line. Having a powerful closing line is really crucial because that last line is what the audience leaves remembering. It gives you as the speaker one last opportunity to kind of go over with your audience what your message and what the purpose of your speech is going to be. You need to make sure that your students carefully plan out that closing line so that they're not standing up there at the end of the speech, not really sure how they should end, thinking, mm, well, thank you guys, I'm done. Okay, make sure that they end with a bang, that they leave the audience leaving the speech and thinking about it for hours and days afterward. Okay, so once you've kind of helped solidify their content, you can move on to helping your students prepare themselves for the speech. And there's a lot of different areas and ways to do this, but the two I want to talk about are help your students be poised and be positive about the speech. If they have good poise, hopefully that will transfer into the other areas of the speech. So under poise, you want to talk about feeling confident in what you're presenting. So you want to make sure that your students dress for success and that the image that they're presenting of themselves <clears throat> is one that they're happy with that they go out there feeling confident. 
Also under that is going to be posture. Having a strong posture, walking in there with your head held high and your shoulders back is going to make you look more confident and sound more confident, which hopefully will in turn make you feel more confident. Also under poise is smiling. Okay, studies have shown that smiling will actually increase your mood. So even if you're nervous, putting on a smile is going to make you feel better. And again, it's gonna help you relate with your audience. You wanna look out into the crowd, smile at them, and keep that smile going when it's appropriate throughout that speech. Okay. Along with smiling, you wanna make sure that you're positive and passionate about what it is you're talking about. When you're giving a speech, you want to try to engage the audience. And how can you expect for your audience to be interested in what you're saying if you're not even showing that you're interested in it yourself? So you want to make sure that whatever you're enthusiastic about with your speech, that you let that shine through. Ideally, your students are speaking about something which they are excited to talk about. They're excited to share their knowledge with their audience. Encourage them to let that enthusiasm and that excitement shine through in their speaking. <clears throat> so I teach that the key to successful public speaking is in proper preparation. Students need to make sure that they prepare their content through thorough research, organization, and making sure that they have really strong power areas, and in preparing themselves in regards to poise and making sure that they're bringing a positive attitude to the speech. These skills are really going to help increase confidence when they're speaking and hopefully lead to more confident speeches. <clears throat> so, I believe that everyone has the ability to walk out in front of an audience with their head held high, shoulders back, a smile on their face, and give the best speech of their life. If they put some attention into the preparation that I talked about today, hopefully these skills will be able to come out in your students. <clears throat>